Hi babe, it's Vicky here. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today I will be sharing my winter foundation routine for dry skin. Now, if you have dry skin, winter is a definitely a different monster. I feel like anyone with dry skin actually enjoys putting on foundation and doing their foundation routine during summer than they do during winter. Because during winter, if your skin is dry and peeling, your foundation, your foundation can sell you out. We can see all of those scales, we can see the dry patches, we can see everything. So I've kind of had to rework my foundation routine to kind of accommodate that and to avoid all of those funny things from happening. But before we get into this video, I'd like to take a moment and thank everyone for 800 subscribers. We are steadily on our way to 1K. So please, 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 please share this video with anyone that you can think of, anyone who might need it. I'm talking your sister, I'm talking your aunt, I'm talking your sister's aunt. <laughs> I'm talking about your brother's girlfriend. I'm talking about your brother's girlfriend's aunt. I'm talking about their mama and their mama and their sister. Like, share this video with anyone who you think might need it. But if you are new, hi, I'm Vicky Mac with a K, and I really do hope that you stay. Subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get an update every time I show face. With no further ado, let's get into. My battery is flashing. How? So. I just sat down. I just trimmed my hair, guys. I don't know if the video is going to go up before or after this one. But I trimmed my hair. I have my natural hair out. So I'm just going to tie all of this back. Nothing hectic. I'm going to tie all of this back. And we are going to get started. A little bit of a background with regards to my skin. I have dry skin especially during winter my skin tends to be more dry more on the dry side so i kind of have to make sure that my skincare is really really good and hydrating so that i don't have to work that hard with my makeup but the both do work very well together what am i doing i haven't done my brows okay all right so i have my brows on let's get started with the makeup I'm going to start off with this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I've always, always loved this primer. I think it's one of the few primers that I use on my channel. Um, I have sensitive skin, which is acne prone, which is dry, like my skin is a mess. But I always, always try and use primers that are very friendly to my skin. So if I find a primer, and it doesn't mess me up then i will definitely be using it for a while so i have tried a few other primers before but uh they always broke me out so the one thing is i use this primer and i put on setting spray on top so this is the catrice prime and fine setting spray this is more of a dewy kind of setting spray so that's what I love about it it's not matte it's not 100% matte so I'm just gonna put on my primer and making sure that I get my nose in particular because my nose my forehead like especially the bridge of my right here and here somehow I get really really dry over there and I my skin likes kind of doing funky peeling-esque things there so I always make sure that especially during winter that I prime my nose I'm now going to take some of that spray okay so I'm going to move on to my foundation now I normally don't do my eyes after foundation like i do my eyes before foundation but because this video is more focused on my skin i'll just start with my base and then i'll move on over to everything else so i'm just going to put a few pumps of foundation on my hand i'm going to grab a brush i'm going this is the real techniques stippling brush 
expert face brush that's what this is my brushes are dirty i was trying to film a video before this but i didn't like it so i had to do something else so i'm going to start on with the foundation and i'm literally just dippling it in with the brush so i'm patting it in so this is the motion that i'm using for the foundation patting it so i'm not moving it around i'm patting it in oh, and by the way the foundation that i'm using is the maybelline superstay foundation and this is in the shade caramel so I am just going to now take my beauty blender and going to be blending in a bit more foundation like on my nose and making sure that whatever I put on my face blends in really really well okay so back to where we were before I got really interrupted I had to switch out the memory card in my camera so I was busy doing that and then I also like closed the window just to because I think I had a bit too much light so that's what we've been doing so back to the way that I do my foundation on my forehead so in winter my skin tends to be very dry especially around my forehead so on my forehead I do not I try not to use a brush because what I found that a brush does is that as you are blending you are kind of also creating friction on the skin and if your skin is a bit like dry and it's kind of peeling it actually puts that foundation into those cracks that the brush would create I don't know if that makes sense but that's my reason why so the way I do it I always we use a beauty blender I've tapped in I've got very 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 small amount I'm going to put it on my forehead the middle the center just between my brows and then I'm going to blend that outwards so I don't put the foundation like on my hairline I put it on my forehead and then I blend it outwards to the areas that I need it so blending it wherever we need it the hairline the everything's of this world so now we have our foundation on and we're going to move on to concealer so if in concealer i'm going to use the la girl pro conceal concealer and i'm going to do it now i'm going to apply it kind of like this I'm going to take my sponge it's damp I'm going to start with my chin and I'm going to blend that out so that is blended I'm going to go onto my cupid's bow now another tip as the areas that you are blending get smaller kind of want to squeeze so I'm going to squeeze my beauty blender like that and I'm going to do my cupid's bow so now we're going to do my cheeks I do my cheeks the same way as I normally do my cheeks to set my concealer during winter I still use a setting powder I don't bake on any normal day I try not to bake I usually do not bake but particularly in winter I use a very very small amount of powder I have my setting spot powder over here I'm going to take my beauty sponge I'm going to dab into it this is how much part just one this is just one and I'm going to tap on my arm removing any excess powder this is how much I have left and that is what I'm going to use to blend making sure that I blend especially when it comes to the creases because it it doesn't make sense for you to be all creased up in winter why would you want to be creased in winter why 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 would you want that 
I wouldn't want that. But to contour my face today, I am going to be using powders. So now I'm going to be explaining how I balance the use of powders along with the fact that I have dry skin. So I always use, try to use my powders in moderation. And then also because of the fact that I have primed my face with this and I'm going to set my face with this, I don't have to worry too much about it getting dry because the spray is gonna help us rehydrate everything once we are done. So I'm going to go in to this. And I'm using, this is a Kayla angled contour brush. So I am contoured and I'm now gonna go into blush. I'm gonna use the blush from the same duo. This is the NYX Cheek Contour, contour Duo Palette. And this is in the shade Wine and Dine. So we are done. I have my blush on, I have my contour on. So normally, I wait up until I've applied my fixing spray and then I would put on my highlighter but because it is winter and we want the glow to kind of come from within I'm going to put my highlighter on first oh this my baby is broken all right I know that okay so she's broken anyway so I'm gonna put on my highlighter this is the wet and wild highlighter in crown of my canopy I don't know if anyone has mentioned how affordable Wet n Wild products are, but Wet n Wild products are so affordable. So I'm just gonna put on. So I like angling my brush like this whenever I'm doing my highlighter. So I have, I have a round face. Like I have a really round face and have like chubby cheeks. So what I like to do, I like to kind of I can actually see where the light hits my face so I usually go according to that and I'm going to go tip of my nose and right there oh the bridge of my so right there is where I put my highlighter so I'm coming off with my brush so I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna put it right there and on my nose so I don't do the whole middle of your nose thing. If you do, if you highlight the middle of your nose, sometimes it brings more attention to your nose than you need. And I already don't contour my nose, so I don't want any attention. Okay, so we are done with my face. Um, I'm going to put on some setting spray just to show you the end result. After the setting spray, then I'm gonna go off camera gonna do my eyes then I'll be okay, back so I'm done with my eyes I am done with almost the rest of my face so I'm now going to set my face with this Catrice long-lasting prime and fine fixing spray it's the same one that I used after I put on my primer so I'm just gonna cover my eyes the reason why people cover their eyes is not to look fancy but you don't want to get setting spray on your eye makeup because if you put too much it might drip and it might just mess up stuff so that's why people cover their eyes and also yeah and one two three okay so this is the final 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 look i really hope that you do like it i really do hope that you like the routine and you could learn something from what i shared today so please make sure you do stay tuned for the eye makeup portion of this makeup look i will be uploading it as a separate video and please make sure that you are subscribed so that you get a notification when that video comes up